welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Also, I'd like to remind you guys that we have a series of webinars coming up this week as well as going into the end of this year you can see monday december 7th we have trading the pristine method anyone can do it with myself followed up uh, by paul lang on thursday capturing five day moves in 30 minutes and then the following monday december 14th we have one of our holiday parties with president and ceo greg capra so you're definitely going to want to be there if you can't be uh, to the other ones hopefully you can make it you can uh, register by going to www.pristine.com you can also check out the full schedule there as well so like i said hopefully you can attend at least one or two of these but uh, you are certainly encouraged and welcome to attend any and all that you are able to all right so taking a look at where things are at here as we head into this new week euro us dollar in the upper left you can see we had that explosive move higher with the uh the ecb rate decision um, so very wide range bar very powerful move up but you know we'll see if this really lasts we'll see if this really is is a uh, knee-jerk reaction or if this is truly new professional type money coming in to try and drive price higher you know everything that's out there suggests euro us dollars coming down to parity and uh, you know we'll see the trend certainly supports that overall but this is going to probably be a significant area that that will have to be overcome in in some time so right now we do have to respect this candle as we pull back we'll be pulling back on support so we may see things bouncing around here for the for the next little while here regarding euro us dollar a pullback into this area probably sets up a decent intraday long opportunity i wouldn't necessarily be looking to go swing long but uh, intraday certainly a, a bounce is very likely Moving on over to Aussie dollar, US dollar. This one continues to grind its way higher as we had discussed in, in last week's video. It was kind of uh, at a spot where it could go either way. So just playing the intraday trend is really the way that uh, at the time I was suggesting to play this. And as you can see, it has moved all the way back up to this prior high. We're now starting to see some supply coming in here or additional supply coming in here and uh at this point you know the trend is up it's into some support here off to the left maybe it pulls back a little bit more maybe it doesn't uh, honestly we'll, we'll see what happens taking a look at the weekly chart though uh, we're right up into the top of this this resistance area so based on the weekly it, it suggests we'll be rolling over and heading back down to lower levels if on the other hand though we get above this area well then at that point we're going to be in a transitionary period where we may be getting ready to move into a new uptrend so interesting times ahead for Aussie US dollar definitely some key levels to be watching but at this point you know again really just going with the intraday strength or weakness as that will be where the opportunity is moving on over to the right New Zealand dollar US dollar this one had been rallying to the upside but now finds itself into resistance rolling over here a bit little shelf of support here so we'll have to see how it handles it but uh, this could easily be a point where it rolls over from if we 